फ्रेंड्स गुड डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे लेट्स लर्न अबाउट ओशन एंड मैन वॉट यू सी बिहाइंड मी इज अ स्मॉल ग्लिम्स ऑफ लाइफ अर्थ वेन व्यू फ्रॉम स्पेस इज अ लार्ज एक्सपैंस ऑफ वॉटर अर्थ कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेवेंटी वन परसेंट ऑफ वॉटर एंड रिमेनिंग ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट इज द लैंड टूडे लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट ओशन Oceans occur between the land masses. The major oceans are Arctic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Antarctic Ocean and the Indian Ocean. The above mentioned oceans have three types that is bays, straits and seas. The portion of the sea which is surrounded by three parts of land is known as bay and the narrow stretch of sea covered by two land masses is called strait. and the portion of the ocean which is close to the land is known as sea now let's discuss about island and peninsula island is a land which is covered by sea on all sides the land masses of sea which is covered only three sides is known as peninsula temperature salinity and density are the most important characteristics of sea water they are not uniform in all oceans now let us see the reasons for the difference in these characteristics distribution of ocean temperature the temperature varies in accordance with the latitude the highest temperature is recorded between the 10 degrees latitude of either side of the equator when we move away from the equator the temperature decreases considerably The lowest recorded temperature is minus two degrees Celsius, that is, at the polar region. What are the reasons for the variations in temperature? That is because of the amount of insulation received by the Earth. Salinity of sea water. Sea water is salty. The average amount of saltiness in sea water is about three point five percentage. This can be separated from the sea water. The concentration of saltiness in sea water is known as salinity of sea water. The salinity is different in different oceans. We will discuss about the variations of the salinity and its conditions. The salinity will be more in the landlocked seas and it increases in the areas where evaporation is very high. Salinity decreases when the snow melt water reaches the sea. and it decreases at the river mouth we discussed about ocean temperature and sea salinity which varies accordingly now let's see about sea water density sea water density is not uniform all over it varies accordingly with the temperature and salinity it decreases with the increase in temperature and it increases with the salinity and these are the reasons for the movement of the waves as you see the waves are moving it is due to the three factors that are ocean temperature sea density and the sea salinity now let's discuss about the sea water movements there are three types of movements they are waves tides and ocean currents now let's begin with the waves the up and down motion of the water along the surface of the sea is known as waves the summit of the wave is known as crest and the bottom of the wave is known as trough the distance between two adjacent crest is known as wave length and between the troughs is known as wave height the friction of the waves exerted on the surface of the ocean results in the formation of waves as the strength of the winds increases the strength of the waves also increases strong waves generated as a result of such severe winds such as cyclones results in the sea surging you must have read in newspapers during the southwest monsoon about the damages caused to the sea shores located near the seaside preventive measures for the protection of coastal life people and the shore include deposits of boulders along the seashore construction of interlocking concrete sculptures known as pulimutta and the plantations of mangrove forest what you see here is the pulimutta 
The sand moved back and forth by the movement of the waves deposited as sand bars. This is a protection by nature itself to protect the shores from the sea surge. You all know about tsunami. Tsunami and earthquake on the ocean surface results in gigantic and monstrous waves. They are known as seismic waves. Their speed is about 800 km per hour. Now let's learn about tides. Tides are periodic rise and fall of water level in the ocean. The rise of water level is known as high tide and the lowering of the water is known as the low tides. What are the reasons for the tides? They are the centrifugal force exerted on the earth due to its rotation and the gravitational force by the moon and the sun results in the tides. What you see here is an image of formation of tides. The water level on the part of the earth facing the moon rises. The rise in water level due to the gravitational pull exerted by the moon leads to high tide. The centrifugal force due to the earth's rotation is the reason for the rise in water level here. It can be seen that the water level goes down at places located 90 degree away from the places of tidal influence. This is due to the draining of water towards the tidal regions. This phenomenon of fall of water level is known as low tide. Now let's learn about spring tide. The sun, moon and earth come in a straight line on full moon and new moon days. The tidal force will be intense due to the combined influence of sun and moon. As a result, the tides formed on these days will be stronger. These are known as spring tides. Now let's learn about neap tides. The moon and the sun will be at angular distance of 90 degree from the earth after 7 days from the full moon and new moon days. As the sun and the moon attract the earth from an angular distance of 90 degree, the tides caused are very weak. Such weak tides are known as neap tides. High tides and low tides have many effects. Let's have a look at them. The debris dumped along the seashores and the ports are washed off to the deep sea. The formation of deltas is disrupted due to the strong tides. The brackish water can be collected in salt pans. The fishermen make use of the tides for going and returning from the sea. The tidal energy can be used for power generation. Now, we will discuss about the ocean currents. Ocean currents are the continuous flow of seawater from one direction to another. They can be classified as warm currents and cold currents. Warm currents are the currents that flow from the tropical or subtropical region towards the polar or subpolar regions. Similarly, the cold currents are the currents that flow in from the polar or the subpolar regions towards the tropical or subtropical regions. Let's have a look at the atlas of the currents of Indian Ocean. We can see warm currents and cold currents in the map. The ocean currents influence the climate of the coastal regions. Oceans have a decisive role in controlling the climate along the coastal regions. The sea breeze during the day and the land breeze in the night regulate the temperature over the coast. Ocean plays a part in the formation of weather phenomena like rain, wind and cyclones and they are useful in mineral deposits, power generation and oceans are a source of food. We can purify seawater for drinking purposes. What are the methods to purify seawater? They are distillation, evaporation and condensation for separating water from brackish water and electrodialysis and reverse osmosis for separating salt from brackish water. So today we discussed about the small glimpse of life that is ocean and sea and we discussed about ocean currents, tides and the influence of ocean currents in climate.